Hey, what's going on guys? I'm gonna start this video by saying that I am not sponsored by these guys, but I'll go ahead and give you a review. Stay tuned. Is there scales on my head? Hey, what's going on guys? So one of my favorite Marines that I ever served with, yes, I'm in the Marine Corps. I've been serving off and on on active duty and reserves for about 11 years. He sent me this thing. This is supposed to be one of the best fish scalers ever. So I'm gonna test it against this mangrove snapper. All right, I got another shrimp free line. Here it goes, let's see what happens. I'll give this chum bag a small little shake. Not too much, I don't wanna make all the chum come out. Small shake, just like that. And I drop it down, here it goes, right in the mix. Let's see what happens. Oh no, I got a pair of fish. Oh no, I got a snapper. There it goes, I got a snapper. I got a nice snapper, guys. Not too bad, I gotta hurry up. There are barracudas here. Where? Right there, it's got the tail, you see the tail? Look, right there, it's hanging up here. It's a regular white shark, oh no, it's a nurse shark. My oh, nurse shark, big nurse shark, look at that, guys. Yes, big gummies here. Beautiful, beautiful. Zero, 13, I like that. All right, let's take a look at this thing. So it's plastic and it has these small little teeth on each side. Look at those teeth. I do not think you can break it. So, we're gonna test this scaler against a good old fork. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale one side of the fish with this fork. I'll use this scaler on the other side. And I want you guys to leave in the comments what you think was a more efficient scaler. Is it this fork? Or is it this scaler here? Let me know. All right, we're gonna start with this fork, let's see. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss any parts. Look at that. It's coming off though. No problem. And don't worry about where these scales are going all over the place. This is my house, doesn't matter. I'll clean it up later. Boom, check that out. All right, now it's time to use the scaler. Let's see what works better. You right? You guys ready? Here it goes.
Comment below which one you think won, guys. All right, guys, so we saw the fork in action, but I've been getting some comments from a couple people I asked before I did this video, and they said you need to actually use the spoon. And I was like, what? I've never used a spoon. I've always used a fork, and I have some videos of some other things I use that I'll show you guys later. So I got the spoon here, and we're gonna have it go against the scaler. I think, honestly, the scaler did better than the fork, but let's see how it does against the spoon. Let's do it. All right, guys, so this time I'm going to have the scaler go first against the spoon. Let's do it. Boom, that's it. All right, now it is the spoon side. I guess I'm gonna do it like this. I've never used a spoon, so we're gonna find out. Here it goes. All right guys, so I have to admit that was a pretty fun challenge. And overall, we had the fork, we had the spoon, who made a guest appearance, and then this good old scaler. And I left everything like here, just like this. Even me with the scales on it, I didn't clean anything up. And what I'm gonna give it to is the scaler. This thing is serious business, guys. I'm going to link the information so you can get one as well. Again, like I said before, I'm not sponsored by them, but I think that this is a more efficient way to scale fish. And you don't have to use your utensils that your wife, girlfriend, or your mom's going to complain about. So you will have a scaler. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more challenges, more tips and tricks besides me fishing, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, Hit that notification bell for future videos, and I'll see you sooner than later. Peace!